make your way over to blender.org. A link will be in the description down below. So once you're on the page, all you just have to do is click this Blender 2.75 download button, and then it's going to take you to a new page. As you can see, there are different operating systems that you can choose from. So choose whichever operating system that you're using. So the program is free, so you don't have to worry about paying for anything. And don't worry, there are no viruses at all. So before I begin this tutorial, I just want to say that this tutorial works for all Blender intro templates as they all are the same to edit. All you just need to do is download it and put it on your desktop. And now you may get a file that looks like this. To open it up, all you just need to do is right click on it and click extract here. And it's going to start to extract on your desktop. And now we have a folder. And if we open up the folder, as you can see, we have the Blender file and we have a rendered intro folder for when we render our intro. So now you can just close the folder and open up Blender. You will be greeted with the page like this. All you just need to do is go to File, Open, and find wherever you saved your Blender intro template. So we saved ours on our desktop and in the intro template folder. So we just select it and click Open Blender File. And now we've opened up the Blender file. To change the text, all you just need to do is right click on the text, click Tab, Backspace, and then type in whatever you want. Click Tab again. Right click on the other text, click tab, backspace, type whatever you want again, click tab, and now we've edited the text. If you like to replace the font, all you just need to do is go to the F in the top right hand corner of the screen, click on it, and if you go down a little bit, you will see this font drop down menu. And if you want to remove or replace this font, all you just need to do is click the folder right beside it, and now find wherever your fonts are saved. They're usually saved in your C hard drive, Windows, and then fonts. So now we have a whole bunch of fonts to choose from. So choose whichever font you want. So once you've found the font that you want to use, all you just need to do is click on it and click open font. And now we have to do it for the other text too. Click on the text, go to the folder, and then find wherever your fonts are saved. And then select the same font again, click open font, and now we've changed the font. Now we have to render it. And to do so, all I just need to do is go to the camera, and scroll down a little bit and make sure that this is MPEG. And if you open up the encoding drop down menu and scroll down, make sure that this format is MPEG 4. And go down a little bit and make sure that this audio codec is MP3. So now we have to change the output folder. And to do so, all you just need to do is click the folder right beside it and then choose wherever you want to save this. So I'm going to save this inside the rendered intro folder in our intro template. I'm going to save it as intro template. And then you just click accept and now to render the intro all you just need to do is go to the render animation button here or go to render animation and now it's going to start to render your intro so this can take anywhere from five minutes to a whole day it just depends how fast your computer is and how many frames the whole intro has so this intro has 230 frames this will take my computer around five to ten minutes to render this has been your board jamal pack with top free templates Peace.